Hello, Jennifer Harris with this episode of Fermented Science, the microorganisms inside of us. Believe it or not, our bodies have as many single cell microorganisms than our own human cells. You heard that right. The number of human cells is equally matched by the number of bacteria, yeast, and even fungi cells that live in and on us. This conglomeration of microcritters is often referred to scientists as the human microbiome. Though carrying this huge number of organisms around with us can be an unsettling thought for many people, the truth is that these microorganisms inside of us actually play a very important role in maintaining our health. In the ongoing research on our physical and mental well-being, scientists study the microbiomes of both healthy and ill people to better understand how and why this diverse array of microorganisms may be the key to a healthier life and possibly a longer one. Just like our other physical traits, the development of our microbiome begins before we are born. In fact, many researchers maintain that our internal flora, or microorganism varieties, are much like our fingerprints. That is to say that each of us has a unique microbiome that has developed based on our physical surroundings, diet, habits, and many other influencers. The diverse microflora is our body's first line of defense against potentially harmful germs. And it makes sense that different parts of our bodies will have differing microbial landscapes. The types of microorganisms in our mouths are certainly different than those that live on our skin, but each is important to our whole body health. Presently, scientists observing the microorganisms of our digestive tract believe that they might play a larger role in some of our body's more important functions, such as metabolism regulation and fat storage. So even though your body is giving millions of microbes a free ride, don't forget to thank them for keeping you healthy. I'm Jennifer Harris, and thanks for watching Fermented Science.